Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will discuss the NFA with empty moves. Those NFA which have empty transitions are called NFA with empty moves. The NFA which we discussed in previous tutorials were NFA without empty moves. So one of the most important term which is associated with NFA with empty moves is empty closure of a state. Empty closure of a state is the set of all states in which machine can jump from that state without trading any input symbol. Right? As I have already told you, the empty transition represents that machine. Uh, first of all, look at this empty transition. There is an empty transition from state B to state D. It shows that when the machine is in state B, then without trading any input symbol, it can jump from state B to state D. So we have to find empty closure of a state. One more important thing is that empty closure of any state can never be empty. Right? Even if the state doesn't have any empty transition, any empty move, even then also empty closure of that state will never be empty. So let us first find the empty closure of state A. In this NFA, there is no transition, no empty transition from state A, right? So what would be the states in empty closure A? As I have already told you, it is written here, the set of states in which machine can jump without reading any input symbol. So empty closure of, all, of any state must contain that state also. Right, because if a machine is in state A, then without reading any input symbol, we, a machine can reach state A because it is already in state A. So in this way, empty closure of any state can never be empty. It must include the state itself. Right. Now, let us solve a little more complex example. Empty closure of P. As I said in this case of empty closure of A, the state itself must be included in the set. So first of all we will take B itself. Then see the states in which machine can jump with empty moves. So there is only one state that is the state D. So right here the state Now from D, we don't have any empty transition, right? So there are only two states in empty closure of B. Now look at the empty closure of E. Right, first of all, the set will contain the state itself. That is the state E, right? Now find the empty transitions of state E. So here we have two states in which machine can jump with empty moves. These are B and C. So include them. Now see the transitions of P and C with the empty which are labeled with empty symbol. C doesn't have any empty transition, whereas B has one empty transition. That is, it jumps to D. We have to include D also. Now, look at for C. C doesn't have any empty move and D, D also doesn't have any empty moves. So the state in which the machine can reach from state E without reading any input symbols are E, B, C and D. 
first of all it is e because machine is already in this state so there is no re need to read any input symbol to remain in a state e so the state itself is always included in empty closure of any state right next find the transition of empty transition of state e they are to the state b and c it means machine can jump to state b and c without reading any input symbol and from b also the machine can jump to d so from state e we can jump to d also without reading any input symbol first it will jump to b and from there it can jump to d without any input symbol so the empty closure of e must include e b c and d so what we have to do here first of all include the state itself then find its empty transitions right so whatever the next state we get after applying empty transitions take the empty transitions of those sets so uh, those states also right now second thing empty closure of a set of state is the union of the empty closure of each state right we are provided with this nfa with empty moves here we have to find out the empty closure of a set of states q0 and q2 right so how can we find out the empty closure for a set of states first of all find the empty closure of each state of the set individually and then take the union of the output set right so first of all find out the empty closure of q0 then empty closure of q2 and take the union of both here it is q2 right so first of all we have to find out the empty closure of q0 as i told include the state itself that is q0 now see the empty transition of state q0 now there is no transition no empty transition for state q0 so there would be only one state in this empty closure a union and the empty closure of q2 first of all include the set uh, state q2 then find its empty closure uh, its empty transition so it has three empty transition one is to state q1 second one is to state q4 and third one is to state q3 so include them in this set q1 q3 and then q4 now we have added these three new states to the set now find their find their empty transitions also first of all let me find uh, the empty transition of q1 for q1 we have empty transition to state q5 so add q5 also right then find the empty transition for state q3 there is no transition empty transition for state q3 no empty transition for state q4 and now we have added q5 also to the set we must see its empty transitions also so q5 also doesn't have any empty transition so let us close this set now the last step is to take the union of all this q0 q2 q1 q3 q4 and q5 right so the empty closure of q0 and q2 is a set containing the states q0 q2 q3 q4 q5 and q1 also which i forgot to write right and q1 also it is here here it is q1 so you must add that also which i forgot so it must contain q0 q1 q2 q3 q4 and q5 thank you very much for watching this tutorial